Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Get the updates. Really stuff for today's uh, beer uh, and beer review. It's courtesy of John. Thanks so much, John. Really appreciate you sending this. And he sent me their 22nd anniversary. Um, I might say that for a special occasion. Maybe I'll drink it sooner than later. I haven't decided yet. But I definitely want to drink this one sooner. Uh, so it's Central Waters Pecan Kringle Stout. Malt beverage aged by... I'm, aged in bourbon barrels, words are hard, with natural flavor, 12.3% ABV, so it gets you to where you need to go. And this is, uh, yeah, it's from 2020, so it's from this year. Very excited for a bourbon barrel aged stout. Let's get right into it. So we get some central waters, not a ton. Um, looks nice. Um, we get like, actually I have some, yeah, right here. We get a little bit of the barley wine. We get a little bit of stout. <sighs> Maybe one other one, but I've never seen this here and I definitely, the anniversary, no, but I haven't even seen this one. So I'm glad he sent it or other, otherwise wouldn't get a chance to try it. It's light black, very, 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 very dark brown. Uh, it's definitely in that realm. It probably had a little bit more to finger I had when I first poured it just under now. Light mocha, small bubbles. I mean, it definitely looks like a you know bigger stout without looking like motor oil. Let's get to the aroma. Whoa. <laughs> you know what? I know it says pecan. I I just wasn't thinking what it was going to smell like, to be honest with you, before I smelled it. So I was not prepared for that. Wow. Wow, that is wild. Okay, it's very desserty. It's uh, wow. It's caramel, brown sugar, and yeah, pecans. That's nuts. Vanilla, that's nuts. I, I didn't look up like maybe it's a, a local thing or, or not local to me. Pecan Kringle. What what that is? I'm assuming it's some sort of dessert based on this aroma, or maybe it is something people have around me, I've just never heard of it, but, um, oh my God, I could smell that all day. Some butterscotch in there. Oh my God, wow, wow. I, I <laughs> This is probably very boring because I just want to keep smelling it. It smells that good. I don't know if I'm getting anything else that, than what I've already said. In terms of like, does it smell like a beer? I mean, I'm not getting the alcohol, which I kind of thought I would given the ABV. I'm not getting bourbon. Maybe some of that vanilla is from the bourbon. I don't know, but I'm not getting like specifically bourbon. In terms of like stout roastiness. Oh, coconut. Big coconut too. There is a little chocolate coffee thing going. Wow. I said, at least one time I've said this, and maybe I should say it more uh, for things like this. I would like to make a candle of that aroma, a scented candle, obviously, to burn, because that is just nuts. All right, however long I'm in the review, I haven't tasted it yet. Cheers. Wow, okay, so decent amount comes through from the aroma. The aroma would lead you to believe that it's going to be like the sweetest beer you've ever had. Not ever had, but like really sweet. And it's not that sweet, but it has a lot of those flavors. The caramel for sure. I do get some of that bourbon taste. I get more of the chocolate coffee roastiness from the stout itself. So that's cool. Cause like, I think it was pretty obvious from the aroma. I love the aroma, but like, did it smell like a beer? Not much. It does taste enough like a beer. So that's good. This aftertaste is, is so unique. It's very much like oak stave, 
So like, it's very woody. And I, I got that coconut. I, just, I don't know if it's part of the, the flavoring that's in this or if it's from the barrel or a combination. But like, I'm getting some of that coconut residual. What's the other thing? There's something else besides this wood and this coconut thing uh, aftertaste. But anyway. It does start a little sweet. It's interesting. It, it Then it kind of checks itself. It's like, no, no, it's a little drier than you're thinking. Then it goes back up to sweet again. And then again, that finish is very dry. So it's a cool roller coaster that way. It's very interesting. And and I want I, I've said this many times. I'm at a point where like I want delicious. Um, I want it to taste like a beer, and if I can, something different, right? So this is providing all of that. You're getting that caramel, which is so pleasant. The brown sugar got in the aroma. I'm getting less of that. There's some vanilla. I'm just trying to remember everything I tasted. Yeah, that caramel butterscotch toffee. So like like all three of those things, so wonderful. And like like intermingling and interwoven. And yeah, definitely a nice, you know, it's it's there's milk chocolate, there's a little bit of like Hershey special dark chocolate in there. Wow. Wow. Pretty good mouthfeel. It's not, it's really not thin. It's not chewy either. I, I, I'll say for the style, medium probably. I mean, a little bit of alcohol warmth, which it may be part of what's helping dry it in the finish. This is really good. I am having this after dinner and this is, you know, and I love, I've, all my teeth are sweet teeth. Like, I, 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 I've never been like, oh, that's too sweet for me. So I, I don't mind very sweet things. This is desserty without being cloyingly sweet. This is um, uh, uh, just lovely, I think, for people who have a little bit of a sweet tooth, who like, you know, burn barrel aged stouts, things like that. I think you would really like this. It's just, it's got a lot going on. It's It all works. It's reminiscent of desserts I have had. I'm, I'm definitely, when I, you know, done recording this, going to look up what a pecan kringle is and if it's a cookie or a cake or whatever, um, if, you know, what, what, what's it, what this is emulating, which, you know, I tried on these blind. I, maybe I should have looked up ahead of time, like, what is that? So I could kind of speak to what it's, you know, what it's emulating. But I, I like to not know. Uh, I think it's kind of cool, or at least for me, I don't know if on your end. Okay, that's what I'm tasting and smelling out of it. And I look up what the thing is that it's emulating. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, thanks again, John. I really appreciate it, man. I'm loving this. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram when I tapped. It's no hype beer reviews about those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.